Hey guys, I'm back with another jailbreak video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get this kind of keyboard uh, for your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, as you can see, this is not the stock keyboard, neither are the letterings uh, or the font style, so I'm going to show you how you can get this on your iPod or iPhone. Um, I'm not sure if this works uh, for the iPad, you can go ahead and try it, the worst that it's going to do is just not work. Um, okay. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to of course need to be jailbroken and you're need, going to need to go into Cydia. You're going to need to download something called Color Keyboard, I believe is the name. Um, once that's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and go into your settings. And down here you should see Color Keyboard right there. looks like that icon. Uh, you're going to want to have Enable On. You're going to see it says select themes, select pop-up key, customize backgrounds, border radius, and some support author and other uh, things as well as a refresh button to I think get back to how your original keyboard is. I'm sh not sure exactly what that does but that's there. Um, okay so what you're going to do is you can, uh, for my specific keyboard, how mine looks, I selected, um, uh, th you go into themes and I went all the way down to black and blue the very last one. Uh, you can do any of the ones that you want. Uh, you can only have one checked. You're just going to go ahead and check one and then uh, the other one should uncheck. Uh, no, you, when you check one, you go ahead and check that one. You need to, uh, if you already have one, you need to hand uncheck the other one. Uh, then you're just going to go back up here and select pop-up key and for mine I have uh, matte, matte dark uh, but there's also other as well as the other um, setting, there's there's other uh, settings that you can do. Oh, my bad. Um, uh, so there's that. There's customized backgrounds. For my background, um, you can use uh, a custom background for portrait and in landscape mode. And for port uh, portrait, they give you three as well as uh, you can add an image. And I just added my own image um, uh, right there. Uh, and the landscape, you can also have one for when you turn it into landscape mode, you can have uh, a background for the keyboard as well. Uh, iPhone alert, uh, uh, enable custom background, I don't know exactly what that does because I don't have an iPhone, this is an iPod, so I didn't even bother with that. But you can go ahead and play around with that. Um, border radius uh, is, I believe, just how, you, uh, how much space there is between the keys. And when you're done going... Uh, uh, customizing your keyboard to how you want it you're gonna go ahead and hit save up here at the top and it's gonna say restart springboard you must restart springboard to apply this option do you want to restart springboard now uh, you're gonna respring this is what it's going to do <clears throat> um, and uh, this isn't gonna be exactly like mine for two reasons one because you don't have the same background I guess and uh, two because um, I haven't given you the font that you need to be able to have the keyboard look exactly like mine um, see how that's a little different font a lot different font than how it usually is what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go into Cydia and install something called uh, Bita font b-y-t-a-f-o-n-t and I'll have all this stuff in this description so don't worry if you can't see um, you're going to want to uh, open up by default when you're done, uh, when it's done downloading. And what you're going to want to do is there's a couple different options here. You'll have, uh, I think this is a oh, home down here. Uh, I don't mess with anything down there. It's just info and stuff. You have basic and then you have advanced for different settings. Um, this will allow you to set the different fonts for dialer, calculator, keyboard, lock screen, clock, notes, and system. So in order to get the keyboard somewhat similar to mine, um, or what whatever you want, um, after you download the Bita font app, you can go into Cydia and download other fonts, but I have Amsterdam Graffiti uh, for my, uh, whoops, uh, I have Amsterdam Graffiti for my keyboard, and what that's going to go ahead and do is it's just going to change the, the font to what it says Amsterdam graffiti and when you're done there uh, you're gonna hit this apply and respring button and I'll go ahead and do that uh, oh I didn't change anything so uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit that though and it'll tell you you're gonna respring uh, you're gonna respring and when you respring you are gonna have a keyboard somewhat similar to mine and when you go ahead and type on the buttons it's gonna look 
similar to this. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's how you get this type of keyboard. If there's anything else you would like to see, any uh, other little tweaks, uh, customizations, things you like that you saw in this video, or things that you would just like more info about, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if this uh, helped you do anything that you wanted to do that you couldn't, or if it just informed you of something that you didn't already know. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.